What's up guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing out Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I am super intrigued by this mascara. I just kind of want to try a new one and see if it'll get me off of my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara that I use honestly every single day and been using that for over a year. I saw this come out in their little cute uh, launch party that they had in Utah, I believe. And I happened to go to Sephora last night and it was in store. So I was like, why not? I bought it $23, I believe, for this full size. I do think the packaging is super cute. I love pink and black mixed together and add a little bit of silver in there so loving the packaging this mascara is a 36 hour full blast volume mascara 90 percent saw dramatic volume 94 percent said it's instantly lifted lashes 92 percent said it lengthened their lashes so i'm all about dramatic volume i'm all about lifting my lashes and i'm all about lengthening my lashes as well. I don't think anything else that is on this box really matters that I need to share with you guys. 36 hour wear. I don't know who is ever going to need to have mascara on for 36 hours, but I am going to work tonight and I will be at work for at least nine and a half to 10 hours. So I will be able to tell if it really is going to work for me for my long days and long nights at work. Okay, I've got you guys zoomed in, and I am hoping that it is in focus. Okay, let's open up this bad boy. It looks like this. Real quick, let's open up my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I just have my little mini right here. It's actually probably almost out. But let's just see the difference of what I'm used to. Okay, so the difference is right here, and this one is pretty much the same size from this bottom part all the way to the tip. So I think I do like the fact that it goes from bigger down to smaller for the point. You know, it doesn't look like actual bristles like the other or like my Tarte one. So let's just go on in. I do need a mirror though. Okay. Okay, what I do like is that I can actually finally get to my little uh, hairs right right there, but right here, I don't know if you can tell, there just seems to be a lot of product that's kind of like clumping together, and I don't like that look. I like them to be spread apart, so I don't like that that's happening, and I feel like as I'm trying to like spread it apart, it just is getting worse. Oh. I just got mascara on my freaking face. But I will say, first application, I mean, it's definitely giving me some volume, some lift, and some length. Now what I'm worried about this is that I won't be, I usually go in with like a second coat. I'm worried that if I was to go in with a second coat with this mascara that it would start to look really, really clumpy just because of that issue I have right here. So I'm probably going to actually end up taking like a safety pin and I just don't like how that looks right there. But overall, like the rest of the lashes look really good. Now let's do this side. There it is, my top lashes done, both eyes. I do like what it's giving me as far as my lashes. What I will probably do next time is definitely get most of the product off on the outer corners and then work my way into the inner corner because I don't like how some of the product kind of clumps up on these front or inner lashes, I should say. Hopefully this is dry on this side. Let's do these bottom lashes. What I do like about this is that I can get in this inner corner area where I couldn't really before. I'm pretty impressed with how this mascara has turned out. You know, my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara might 
you know, Benefit might be giving them a run for their money because I really like how this turned out. It was really quick. It actually looks like I even curled my lashes with a eyelash curler, but I didn't. Overall, I'm really, really liking this. I'm glad that I bought it. Do we consider Benefit a luxury brand? I think it is considered a luxury brand. I think that's how much the full-size Tarte Lights Camera Lashes is that I paid for. I think I'm going to continue to use this, and hopefully I learn how to do this inner part without letting it get clumpy, but I'm pretty impressed, and I'm going to keep on using it. I really hope that this video was helpful to anybody who was trying to figure out if they wanted to purchase this Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. Me personally, I think it's going to save me a lot of time, especially in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, because as of right now, I don't need to go back in and do another coat, and I don't think I need to even use my eyelash curler, and I do curl my lashes after I put my first coat of mascara on. That's just how I do it. But I don't think I'm going to have to do that with this one. Overall, I'm really liking it. What I like most is that the tip of it is a lot smaller and you can really get into those inner corner areas. Two little hairs that maybe you couldn't before because that's exactly what happened for me today. That's it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed my little demo and review on this mascara, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are going to go out there and get it. It's at Sephora. I got mine on a JCPenney Sephora, so you know it's out there. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!